in the bathroom. Just got home maybe an hour ago from Landmark. Oh. Had a few good breakthroughs, but I don't feel I don't feel 100% transformed. I feel like it was a needed step though, and great timing. And actually, right now, dealing with some anxiety, thinking about and impatient about trying to solve the. Uh, I don't know what my ex is thinking, ex isn't talking to me problem. And trying to get over and move on, and thinking about moving on, and what I want in life, and maybe I want to start looking for a relationship that's more in tune with what I realize I want now same time I I don't have no closure no resolution to what's in her mind that you see I'm anxiously eating I need to know what's in her mind so I don't hurt her because <laughs> she's done this hard pushing away before. No, reject before you get rejected. And her last message to me was really emotionally charged. So when I popped the video on before, to say, anxiously stress eating, I hate gluten. I got this box of expired raisin bran that I'm going through, and I'm trying to throw away the bran and eat the raisins to avoid the gluten. I'm tired of having being clogged up. And sitting on the heater vent to warm up, because this is a cold house. Since I got here, I'm waiting for it to warm up to a temperature I like, so I can feel comfortable trying to sleep. Excuses, excuses. Too much thinking about this unresolved issue. And I was going to post a video on YouTube. That I'm moving on, and then I just got this empty, numb feeling in my whole body. So I'm like, oh my god. What if she's watching my channel? And what if, probably, she's not over me. And she's gonna be hurt, and she's gonna be like, ah, oh, just what I thought. Just what I should expect. That's why I rejected him, because he's a guy that's going to move on so quickly. And I really have no idea. And it's a pain in the ass. This girl can't openly talk to me about what's going on. Why she just blanked out. After I basically sent, like, from the heart loving gift to her, multiple gifts. She just, just blank out and said I'm bad influence in her life. Completely ridiculous. So my idea was to have my friend message her a nice message if she can have an open and honest conversation with me so we can resolve some things and he convinced me not to not to send it to her I'm 
This is January 8th, well, 9th now, it's past 2 a.m. I'm gonna sleep on it. See if I can sleep tonight. See if I feel different in the morning. I kind of feel like I need to know what her response is. So I'm going to make this step forward if I'm going to make a dating profile and whatnot. If I keep, if I maintain that decision. I was tired of feeling unresolved. Unresolved and abandoned. Not understood. What else? Rejected. Unloved. Anger. Anger directed at. Unworthy. Ignored. Worthless. Pathetic. Obsessed. Creepy. What else? What else does she make me feel? Like life is a waste. Never gonna win. Never gonna be in love again. It's never gonna work out for me. Nobody cares about me. I keep failing. Everyone else gets hurt. Everything's right out of my grasp. Humans live in too much fear. And love is right around the corner. Love is so easy to have, you just want it. Stop being so fucking afraid. Stop being so fucking afraid. Okay? Listen to me. Very sugary raisins, eh? Focus, camera. Criminy. Okay, don't focus. Just let me down like everything else. Call this video bathroom breakdown. Fucking nine minutes? I really talked that long? God damn.